If you want your potato casserole to be the belle of the ball, there's a combination of three special cheeses you must include. They'll not only make your potato casserole extra creamy, but they're also gonna keep it moist and add extra, extra flavor. To kick off the potato casserole, here's what you're gonna do first. Peel, cut, and boil three pounds of potatoes. Just cook those potatoes until they're fork tender, and then we're gonna strain them. While your potatoes are cooking is a great time to go ahead and get a head start on that bacon. You're gonna cut up and dice some thick cut bacon, throw it in a skillet, and just stir it around until it's good and crispy. Once all your prep is done, it's time to make the potato casserole base. The potatoes have been properly drained. You don't want a lot of water going into any mashed potato casserole. To this, we're gonna add some butter. I'm just gonna add the whole stick because it's gonna melt down on top of those hot potatoes and blend in beautifully. We'll also add some milk. And now it's time for cheese number one, the cream cheese. Now here's what the cream cheese does. The cream cheese is gonna help to keep this potato base really moist, even the next day and even the day after that which helps you during the holidays because this is an excellent make-ahead dish. And now we're gonna add in some kosher salt and some black pepper. And to help me get everything really good and incorporated, I'm going to use my handheld mixer. If you have a stand mixer, you could also use that fitted with a paddle attachment. For cheese number two, Havarti. Now, if you have never had Havarti, let me just tell you that this is a seriously delicious, insanely creamy, wonderful melting cheese. It's what's gonna add all those creamy vibes to your potato base. So that is a whole block of Havarti going into the potatoes. Cheese number three could be none other than cheddar. Cheddar and potatoes are a classic combination and this is gonna add lots of flavor, both to the interior of the casserole and to the top, not to mention a little pop of color. Now, most of this cheddar is gonna be used for topping off the casserole, but we're gonna add just about a half cup to the mix here. The very last bit of prep we have to do is slice up some green onions. So here is that chopped bacon that we cooked on the stove top earlier. I'm gonna add about half of that. We're gonna add about two thirds of the green onions. Just give this all a good stir. And then we'll add it to our baking dish here. Smooth over the top. Now we're just gonna top it with some aluminum foil and we're gonna bake it for about 20 minutes. Then when the 20 minutes is up, we're gonna take off that foil, add the rest of our topping and pop it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Okay, here we go, round two. First, we're gonna add on a thick layer of cheddar cheese. Now on goes the bacon, and then we're gonna sprinkle on those green onions, and then we'll pop it back into the oven until that cheese is really good and melty. You can count on this loaded potato casserole to win over any potluck crowd. As always, I'll link to the recipe in the description below. And while you're down there, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe to the Anthony Kitchen's YouTube channel, where we are always posting recipes perfect for the home cook and the entertainer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.